welcome back to the channel it is i the gnome and i'm back with another forza motorsport crash out video for the week as the club starts getting shunted off the bed and into the sand traps but yeah that's the nature of um, taking these s corners only here uh, this is okay and you just see smoke all over the place because it's yeah and it's normally the formula one looking cars the formula mazda cars and someone getting shunted into the tire wall the supra was just you know he's driving a different line speed wise than the other people me included and then i think someone got revenge on him and i was so hoping he won't bump me there thank you for not bumping me there yeah flipping cars at the end of uh, qualifying or practice a thing that i enjoy doing mixed race mixed uh, race and then the slower cars bumping i think my tune on this car was like really really slow close to 800 meaning it's close to the slower cars um, and i was barely barely winning against that yellow lamborghini and that guy goes off in here and that was just a bad start for that guy but Brands Hatch is slowly becoming one of my favorite circuits um, and the return to track was just bad for that guy getting knocked all over the place again and the, the fact that the track is in narrow makes it a bit super nice for uh, like bumper to bumper racing for me because you really need to be careful by not trying to put many the people most of the time and then when you do get small moments of overtakes it is so good like yeah I'm, I just made a fuck up bumping that guy and then just getting rear-ended again but I do think the penalty I received was well deserved because I, I was breaking a bit too late the narrowness of this trip is really what they love of course people run wide but the thing is I don't deserve I didn't deserve that person to do nothing just saying yeah, I hate it when people cut me off like that and uh, just take the corner from me but yeah and then he runs around so it's all fair I'm 6th currently so yeah getting shunted wide first corner it's always fun this yellow car is going to be a problem because I bump him here and then he goes off the track but lucky enough he doesn't come back on the, to the track like a madman knock the wheel off to the other side again I took this line way way too wide because if I didn't take it as wide as I did I would have had so much of a better run up this straight but then the yellow car gets blocked in because of course But I will say this, this track is one of my favorites to partake in, but, but maneuvering me there and trying to get just back into the race on the home straight, but trying not to get into that little Formula 1 cause way just made me run a bit wide, because this section here is like a very very high speed section and space is important and alright open your cars no space no space and shit happens and the skyline tried to push me to the tire wall but whew, every single time there is just the fear that sets in 
even though this is still practice, taking people out like that, I honestly feel whatever penalty you acquire should be given to you during the race. That is just how I feel. Old at your lap time. This is another mixed race with this R class driver going off the track. I'm breaking for this corner as normal and he shunts me into uh, this BF reason guy. And you check my dials. I actually break to avoid this because I don't know why I was going slow. Maybe I was thinking I'm bumping him for some reason but I wasn't. And later on down the road, spider sense is a tingling because I knew he was going to try and get revenge on me like this. This was unnecessary. I didn't cause the first knock on him. He was the reason the second knock happened himself. And now he's just trying to be a dickhead for no reason again. But what I've learned is just to drive my races normal. Make content out of them because at the end of the day, I'm here to have fun with the game, I'm not here to seek revenge on other people. And I managed to slip in there, which is a uh, positive for me. No sound. Ugh, stupid of me not to air, uh, air my sound settings properly. Getting taken out by this guy was honestly just not fun but back at the home straight at um i was thinking to myself like i can get these guys at the second straight but when i noticed that this yellow car was moving out of the slipstream i was like nah i need to follow him and then my edit and sinna kicked in i was like nah go for the gap go for the gap and i think that's my cleanest double overtake ever in the game like that so yeah this is uh, the uh, close to the end of the video now if you've checked up until this far again no car sounds i made a fucky wacky with my recordings like comment subscribe um i like the last comment of someone saying that my commentary is was okay yeah i'm trying to do better because I just think it's nice with the commentary because I'm trying to do videos similar to uh, Super GT and I kind of look up to him video wise because I mean his videos are very very good I've learned a lot from just watching his videos especially when it comes to your the racing style and like what you do um, driving um, like even with the car I'm driving now I started using hard tires on it especially if it's like a five lap race a six lap race learning that my tire wear should last longer uh, during the end of the race part so I can still be like competitive near the end of the race So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys with the like with more for the motorsport content, Horizon content, because where racing games are concerned, they are kind of my favorites to play and to make content out of. So yeah.